Okay, Diana is going to read the article or the paragraph about what I've learned about friendship. Okay, Diana, please go ahead. Since my childhood, I have learned three important les lessons about friendship. First, I have learned that sometimes your friend just needs you to listen. Often, when a friend has a problem, we want to jump in and fix the problem. However, this is not always helpful because your friend may just need someone to listen. In addition, I have learned that some friendships change over time. For instance, the best friend I had in a young child is not my closest friend today. Finally, I have learned that the most important quality uh, I value in a friend is being reyab, reyable. Reliable. Re reliable. I need to know that my friend is going to be there for me when I face a difficult, stressful situation. In short, this is what I have learned about friendship to date. Beautiful. Uh, okay, so that... This article actually was our lesson last week. And so we sp also spoke about every student had the opportunity to tell everybody what they think about friendship, how they value friendship, and how to protect friendship, and their idea uh, of what a friend should be. So that was our lesson uh, last week. Okay. So let me just proceed to the next one. And I think the next reader will be between, oh, oh, Alison and Fiorella, they are not here. Is Alison here? Okay, so I'm going to ask, uh, Daniela, do you want to read? Okay. Okay, just a second, Daniela. Let me set it up. Okay, so Daniela is going to read uh, the next article. The next article is new, okay? And the next article is about tourism, 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 geo tourism, geo tourism. Okay, Daniela, it's geo tourism. Okay, Daniela, is see mass tourism. Okay, go. Okay, mass tourism has been popular for many years. However, a new type of tourism called geo tourists how, no, how you say no, no, no daniela you say tourism 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 can you repeat again say tourism 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 yes okay yes. geo tourism has started to become popular as well this type of tourism tourism benefits local companies and local people hey oh my god hey oh no, geo 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 to tourist tourist so focus not only on helping local people but as but is also help to protect protect the en, en, environment environment and unique biodiversity of the place that tourists visit. In addition, this type of, oh my God. Tourism, oh, tourism. Tourist, to, tourism. Okay, last time. Now look at my mouth, tourism. Tourism, mm -hmm. tourism also celebrate the culture and history of local areas. This means that visitor can de 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 how I say that? De develop. Develop. Develop like that? Yes. Develop a deeper understanding of the place they visit. Okay. Daniela, I'm going to ask somebody to read the same thing because you're a new student, you are still adjusting, right? Um, any volunteer? Uh, Hilalai. Musa tour uh, tourism has been popular for many years. 
However, a new type of tourism called Gu, 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 tourism has started to become popular as well. This type of tourism benefits local companies and local people. Geotourism force focus not only on helping local people, but it also helps to protect the environment. And unique below below the diversity. Bio biodiversity. Yeah, biodiversity of the place that tourism visit in uh, addition this type of tourism also celebrate the culture and history of local areas this means that visitors can develop a deeper understanding of the place they visit okay so now okay yeah, thank you thank you Lala. We're going to go to the third one, and the third one is between Ronald and Burhan. And I, uh, Ronald is raising his hand, so I'm going to ask you to read. The third one is uh, what I've learned, what I've learned during the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, during the pandemic, what have you learned? Okay, Ronald, go. Oh, what have I learned? You mean, oh, you want me to read this? Yeah, you were raising your hand. Oh, yeah, to read. Okay. What I've learned during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, during the past six months, <laughs> I've learned a lot to protect myself in order to survive to COVID-19. First, I've learned, learned that wearing a mask, washing my hands, and using a sanitizer on a regular basis are very important. Uh, second, I've learned learned the importance of physical distancing to save work, to save work myself and other people. Uh, third, I learned to stay close to my loved ones using my smart my smartphone and the social media. This pandemic is very dangerous. Uh, we need to protect one another and understand that we are all in this together oh no very good thank you <laughs> very very clear <laughs> okay so everybody i just wanna i just wanna like take this opportunity to announce to you that okay next week is march break and after the march break every time i teach you from six o'clock to eight o'clock you have to do something small from eight o'clock to nine o'clock and that is gonna be every day okay what do you mean something small something uh simple like for example um after the class you're gonna write one paragraph or after the class i'm gonna give you uh 10 words and i like you to check the spelling oh, okay and after the class i'm gonna give you five words i like you to research on the meaning you know something like you, you i need to fill your time um from not eight o'clock to nine o'clock because very soon we are going back to in-person teaching okay oh, really? yeah you, you know like every uh, many, many 80 percent have returned right? okay. only esl has not returned in the end to the moon we don't need to use masks so who's gonna uh, teach uh, inside school you yeah, I'm the same teacher. I'm gonna be your teacher. But if you don't like me, I can move you to another. Uh, I like you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I love to teach in person. Like if you like me, uh All is cool. like you know, if you like me teaching you online, you will like me better if you see me in person. I I'm different. Okay. So I uh, okay here in this class. Only Ronald knows me teaching in person. All the others, you only saw me online. Andrew, when we are planning to to return in, in no, we, person? There, there's no announcement yet. Oh, okay. 
but in my day class, we are returning on April 4th, which is next month. But uh, in Mississauga, right? But in ESL, we don't have any announcement yet. Merita, you have a question? No? Okay, so tomorrow, um, okay, I need to give you a homework before the March break. So tomorrow, this is gonna be your homework. The question is what I've learned during the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, what have you learned during the pandemic? Okay, this is just an example. You, you should not copy. This is, I wrote this, okay? So I'm going to read it one more time, uh, although I would say that Ronald read it beautifully. What I've learned during the COVID-19 pandemic. During the past six months, I've learned a lot to protect myself in order to survive the COVID-19. First, I've learned that wearing a mask, washing my hands, and using a sanitizer on a regular basis are very important. Second, I've learned that the importance of physical distancing to safeguard myself and other people. Third, I've learned to stay close to my loved ones during my smart, I mean, using my smartphones and the social media. This pandemic is very dangerous. We need to protect one another and understand that we are all in this together. We are all in this together means in order to end the pandemic, every one of us has the responsibility to protect one another. You cannot just like wear a mask and don't care about other people. Or you cannot expect people um, uh, wearing a mask in the elevator and then you are taking off because oh, I cannot breathe. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we are all in this together. Everybody has the responsibility. Um, uh, so uh, you know, we have to help each other in order to, to, uh, to help end this pandemic. Okay, so uh, these three reading um, exercises, I mean, uh, yeah, reading exercises, um, I just like selected and they were old lessons that I used in the past. Okay, in uh, in my level six seven class, and the first one was what I learned, what I've learned about friendship, and then the other one is geotourism. Geotourism is actually tourism to visit natural places like um, like mountains, hills, rivers, like the natural resources, nature. Okay, so geotourism, eco tourism. Uh, it's beneficial for you and also beneficial for the people that you are visiting because when you visit, they can collect money to protect the environment. Okay, so what I've learned during the COVID-19 pandemic, we need to do this homework tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and your answer should be your personal answer. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing because I'm going to proceed to the next uh, lesson, which is how to respond to questions when you do not know the answer okay i have a slide but i'm not going to show it to you because the slide has the answer okay i'm gonna ask stanley you're the first one um okay yeah um stanley stanley the second okay, let me just close this because it's it's bothering me here <clears throat> Okay, so here, um, okay, last cards. Okay. Uh, let me see if this is the one. <clears throat> Okay, I'm not sharing, but I'm gonna ask you. Okay, mm -hmm. um, Stanley. Oh, you can. I cannot see it. Stanley, yeah. um, which team did Michael Jordan play in basketball? 
which team did Michael Jordan play in basketball? Uh, like, oh, uh, <laughs> I don't get it. Yes. Uh, um, Stanley, do you know Michael Jordan? No. Okay. I'm very surprised. <laughs> He's very famous, like Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah? He's more famous than Celine Dion. Oh. Teacher? He's more famous than Barack Obama. Okay. I have answer. Okay, Merita, answer. Yes, he played for the Chicago Bulls and Washington Wizards. Yes. You look at Merita. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You know what? Okay, so I'm recording, so I don't want to say anything. Um, <laughs> politically incorrect okay but look at Marita she knows okay Michael Jordan played for the Chicago Bulls okay okay next question for Daniela Daniela in 1930 which country in South America won the first FIFA football I don't have idea <laughs> Is that okay. true? Okay, who knows the answer? It's a mm. Latin country in South America. Brazil. <laughs> Do I say Brazil? <laughs> no, it's Uruguay. Oh, wow. It's Uruguay. They were the first country that won FIFA. Okay, you see that? <laughs> okay, next. Next, let's have Ronald. Ronald, um, yeah. Ronald, in what year? What was in what year was the first iPhone released? Oh, uh, I don't know the answer. I, I don't have a idea of that. I don't know. Anybody who wants to guess. In what year was the first iPhone was teacher? Uh, okay, honey, honey. 2007. 2000, yeah. Oh my God. How come you know it? <laughs> okay, yeah, it's Ronald, it's 2007. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, Marisa. Marisa, what does. Okay, what is often seen as the smallest as the smallest unit of memory oh my god could you repeat me again please what is the smallest unit of memory in computer uh, one one megabyte all right <laughs> no mega no, lower than megabyte Anybody? lower bytes i don't know i don't no. know andrew okay. uh gigas sorry gigas gigas stanley yes yeah answer no i don't know the answer no no but you you were raising your hand no i did it oh. uh, Marita, you have an answer yes i think uh, it's a byte byte no okay it's a uh, megabyte uh, megabyte it's a bit no, this is lower than megabyte. Kilobyte? Yeah, kilobyte. Kilobyte. Okay, the answer is kilobyte is the smallest memory. Megabyte is bigger. Bigger than megabyte is gigabyte. Bigger than gigabyte is terabyte. Terabyte is 1,000 gigabytes, right? Wrong. Okay, next. Um... Next, we have Maritza. Oh, no, no. Is it Maritza? Okay, Ma Maritza. Oh, no, Maritza, I already asked you. Kilalai, you are next. Who discovered, who discovered penicillin? Personally? Penicillin, the medicine. Who discovered penicillin? I don't have any idea. 
Penicillin. Maritza again? Is Mary Curie? No, no. Dr. Mary Curie? It's a, it's a man, it's a man from England. Uh, uh, Alexander Isn't Fleming? It? Yeah, Ro Ronald got it. It's Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin. Now, everybody, sometimes, you know, like I ask you questions that you don't know and you don't really care about the answer. But let me tell you something like questions like this, like little questions like this in history. You when you are talking with people and you can share information like this, people look at you and they like you so much. They think you are intelligent. Yeah, you know what I mean? But if you if you don't know anything, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you call Andres? If you study meteorology, what are you studying? If 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 you study meteorology, what are you studying? Meteorology. What do you mean that meteorology? Meteorology. Okay, Jethro, answer. I think the, the stars and all the space. No. No? <laughs> because you're it? thinking of meteor, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Valentina, answer. The weather. Yes. Andres, the weather. Yes, the hurricane, the weather, the clouds, you know, the, the temperature. Now, you know, yeah, on, on television, you know, on television, uh, when people are talking about the news, there is one part that they talk about the temperature, the snow, the weather. These people, you call these people meteorologists. They studied meteorologists. It's not like in other countries, if we are beautiful, if you are beautiful, if you are handsome, you can work on television. In Canada or US, you have to be professional. You cannot just work because of beauty. You know what I mean? So okay, please ask me another one. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> let me ask you another question. Which planet? Okay. Which planet is the hottest? in the solar system. Andres, there are nine planets. Which planet is the hottest? In the meteor? It's not Mars. It's not I Mars. think Venus. Venus, yeah. Okay. Andres, you're Googling it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I see your answer. Well, no. <laughs> I okay, Andres, I knew that. Okay, Andres, can you say? V, Venus. Venus. Okay, it's B. That's not B, it's B. Venus. Oh, it's Venus. Merita, you have the same the same answer? No, just I want yes, I want I want a question from you. Oh, you have a question? No, no. I want a YouTube. <laughs> oh you you want oh you know the answer. Yes, yes. Okay, so Venus is the answer. Okay. Um uh, which natural Burhan? Which natural disaster is measured by Richter scale? Can you repeat again, Andrew? Which natural disaster yes. is measured by the Richter scale? Richter scale is a machine that can measure, measure, measure the intensity of this natural disaster that happened in Chile, in Japan, in the Philippines, in uh, Hurricane? No. Hurricane? Okay. Um, I got it. Okay, no. Uh, Hanny, answer? Earthquake. Yes. I got it. Uh, Burhan is earthquake. Okay. Okay. Yes, the earthquake you can measure using uh, an equipment called Richter scale. Richter scale is a machine. They put it in the ground. When it shakes, it tells ah, how okay. strong. 
oh. is the earthquake, <laughs> like intensity seven, intensity eight, intensity nine. Okay. Jethro, you're next. Jethro. Yes. Who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize in 1903? A woman of science um, won a Nobel Prize. What's her name? Hmm. I don't know. I'm too young to that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, somebody, Marie, somebody said her name earlier. Marie Curie? Yeah. Yeah. No? <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Mary Curie. Okay. She won a Nobel Prize. Uh, a Nobel Prize. It, it doesn't say here what, what Nobel Prize. Okay, next. Let's have Penny, your turn. Um which country produces the most coffee in the world? Um, Brazil. So say again? Brazil. Correct. My God, it's Brazil. You know, like some people say it's Colombia, Turkey, you know what I mean? But Brazil is the biggest producer of coffee in the world because like that area, Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, they actually have the best weather for coffee. Yeah, they have uh, the, the most expensive coffee all over the world. Mm. But they because came... Brazil, you know, is a huge country, yeah. and they have really huge plantation of coffee. I, uh, this summer, everybody, this summer, I'm going to Brazil. Oh. Yes, uh, during the summer holiday, I'm going to go to Brazil for uh, two weeks, because my friend, my friend was uh, my friend uh, invited me to to go. Andres, you're gonna meet this guy later in the future. Yeah. And when you become Canadian citizen, we can go. You could invite me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next, let's have Mina. 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 Which country? Mina, you should know this. Which <laughs> country invented tea? Oh, it's very easy. <laughs> Which country invented tea? It's not Sri Lanka. <laughs> I got it. Okay, Saja. China. Yes. Ch Mina, China invented the tea. <laughs> it's so easy. Even if you don't go to school, you know this. <laughs> You know, you go to the Chinese, you go to the Chinese uh, restaurant, they always give you tea, free tea, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, so China invented the tea. And you know what? Actually, China invented the tea by accident. And I know the story. Let me know. Tell, okay. tell us the story. Tell us the story, please. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make it short, okay, because uh, we have a long lesson today. Um long long time ago there was a pandemic in china and so the king of china said this happened about 500 800 years ago okay the king of china said we need to boil the water because the water has virus germs or something like that and so uh this um like the workers in the palace you know, they have this big container and yes. they carry the container under the tree. And then they boil water under the tree. They boil the water under the tree. While they were boiling water, the flowers, they, I mean, no, uh, they fell asleep. And they did not see that the leaves from the tree fell into the boiling water. Okay, and then when they walk up, when they hear tuk, 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 the king is waiting for the water. Okay, so when they walk up and they saw that there were leaves in the tree, I mean, uh, no, in, in the bowl, in the boiling water, and the water became brown. <laughs> the water turned brown. The, the, uh, they, were, they were scared. 
to be killed, to be punished by the king. Because it, it took them three hours to boil the water, right? And so they, they put the water in a jar like this so that the king would not see the color. Are you following me? The king, they did not want the king to see the color. So they put it in a brown jar and then they pour the, the you know, the boiled water there. And then uh, the ladies, they serve the king water in a cup, in a brown cup, like what Maritza is using. <laughs> and then when the king took the water to drink, the king drank the water and said, what is this? <laughs> and they said, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, your honor, your honor, I'm so sorry. And, uh, your majesty, I'm so sorry. He said, we were sleeping, you know, we fell asleep. We, And then the king said, no, I was asking what it is because it's so good. <laughs> the king said, it's so good. And then, and okay, so that's the history of tea, right? Uh, the king said, okay, do it again. <laughs> and so they put these leaves from the tree as a flavor to the water, and that became the tea from China. Yeah, I read it when I was in high school. Okay, so, uh, okay, next. Uh, next one is Diana, question for you. Diana. <laughs> Yes. Which, which kind of alcohol is Russia famous for? Vodka. Yes, you know. Huh? <laughs> 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 Diana said, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, you're asking a wrong question. Wrong question. <laughs> okay, vodka. Okay. Uh, I don't want to like, talk about, about it before, but I went to LCDO today. I did not see vodka from Russia. <laughs> so I bought vodka from Sweden. Okay, let me show you. Uh, okay, so um, so I, everybody look at this. I bought this today. I bought absolute vodka. It's from sweet. It's made in Sweden. Yeah, it's made in Sweden. I bought it for $65. Yes, I just want to save it in my house because today I bought Hennessy. For Why are you not drinking it? <laughs> okay. Today I, <laughs> today, today I bought Hennessy because my friend, uh, Shala, my Afghan friend, um, <laughs> AJ Saburi, it's his birthday uh, on Wednesday, so I, I'm going to give it to him. But Hennessy is more expensive than, than, than vodka. <clears throat> A small bottle costs $70. Okay, so anyway. Okay, so next, let's have Saja. This is for you. Yes, this. Which country, Saja, you know this, is which country is responsible for giving us Pasta and pizza. Italia. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But, but everybody, I just want to let you know that actually pizza is from China. And Italy tried to copy. Oh, wow. But they could not copy. That's why they leave it open. Pizza should be covered like a cake, but Italy, they could not cover it like whole, so they just leave it open because they were so <laughs> hungry. <laughs> they were so hungry, so they just left it open like that. So that's the history of pizza. Yeah, because you know Marco Polo, right? He went to China, to India, you know, and also the pasta, uh, all, also originally from China, right? And then Italy, they copied but actually they are noodles and then they copy they make into spaghetti fettuccine you know 
Actually, China has a lot of contribution in the world. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, uh, <laughs> the gender. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yeah, the gender. Which country invented hot dogs? <laughs> Hep dogs? Sorry, teacher. I don't know. I got it. Okay, do you know hot dog? Yeah, I know hot dog. Hot dog. Okay. Um, ISL. Okay, so who wants who wants to answer? Me. Okay, Andres. ISL? Huh? You country, country. What is ESL? USA. USA. Uh, USA. Saja? USA. Me, teacher. No, Marta, me. No, Merita. Country Island? Island. No. Um, uh, Jethro. Teacher, it's can North you... It's Germany? Yeah, it's Germany. Wow. Yes, Germany invented hot dogs. You know, Wiener, you know? Wiener, you know? Yeah. Frankfurt. Yes. But, but they invented the hot dogs. They were small. And U.S. made it big. <laughs> Okay, so Germany and Germany. Sorry, teacher, because we always know the hot dog is uh, in the United States. They love it, so that's why, sorry. Yes, I love hot dogs too. Okay, Shala, which country, I oh, know maybe Shala, let me ask a Latin, Latin uh, per, okay, maybe Shala, you can do it, but I'm sure that the Latin students, they know this. What is the national dish? Of Spain. Can you repeat it? <laughs> what is the national dish of Spain? The national food of Spain. Um, I don't know. The spaghetti. No spaghetti is in Italy. <laughs> okay. Any Latin people? Paella. Yes, paella. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I actually can uh, I actually cannot pronounce it. Say it again, Maritza. Paella, paella. This is paella. Yeah. Paella. paella. I don't know what kind paella. of food is it. Okay, uh, Maritza, can you describe paella to Shala? Yeah, it's um oh it's 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 a big bowl of rice with different ingredients like uh how do you say camarón um shrimp. shrimp yeah shrimp and different uh fish or i don't know sea animals and pork or chicken uh, have different vegetables and uh paprika and it's it's delicious yeah. different, different let me different kind of meat and the different in like the rice the normal rice is this is this one is wet the paella is a right wet yeah it's the the sticky rice right yeah i said yeah. my mother Ma maritza my mother used to to, to make uh arus valenciana <laughs> it is oh, related yeah. it's related to paella but pa pa paella, I mean, arroz valenciana, no seafood, exactly. only meat and eggs. Yeah. And, right. the, and the rice is yellow. They took a little bit of color. I, I love it. And uh, Daniela was right. Uh, they, the ingredient there is not a normal rice that the Chinese people use. It's the sticky rice. Yeah. Yeah. When you touch it, it's a little bit, a little bit wet. Yeah. Marisa, sorry, Marisa, we say arroz fritos. It's the same, arroz frito. Oh, no, for, for, well, I don't know. In paella is not usually fried rice. No, it's it's a little different, the, the how they cook the, the rice in the paella. Yeah. Okay, I'm very sure the one he was describing is arroz frito. In uh, no, 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 no my, my mother never, it's not no. a rice, like it's it's boiled you know and then uh she decorated with eggs because my, because my grandfather was from barcelona spain right yes and so my mother she could cook spanish food spanish food okay. so anyway 
I don't want to talk more. Very and much. they used to use the um, more one of the most expensive um, species is the asafran because it's very expensive. I don't know if in English is the same name. Asafran yeah. is yes. red. It's like a purple. Asafran. Saffron. Saffron. Uh, I think Hilala. Oh damn. Uh, Hilala knows it because she, it is her culture, right? Saffron. Saffron. Yeah, saffron. Yeah. I, I have it. Malika, I have saffron in my house. Wow. My uh, my student from Iran gave me. <laughs> wow. Saffron. He said to me, teacher, do not throw it away. It's very expensive. I said, no, I'm not going to throw it away. <laughs> and then one time, uh, Andres, actually, you tried that. Like I put like saffron on the on the potato to make it yellow. Oh my god. Yeah. So you can put on your tea also. It's gonna the taste oh, really? of your tea. Yeah. And your tea, just one, like they're so expensive. One just drop. take one, like yeah. One put in your thermos if you make oh, tea, really? just rank it like you can like you just want more tea. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Like the taste, yeah, slowly, but slowly it's gonna be more. I have a question, Hilala. Is sure is the same price, it's very expensive too in the original country or only yeah, they're so expensive, oh. they're making like Every summer, they kind of pick all the flowers and they like remove the inside yeah. the flowers. Yeah, take it out. It's so expensive and it's hard no, work. I think, Ilana, I think I don't know if you got Maritza's question. She's asking, like in Canada, saffron is very expensive. Her question is, is it also expensive back home? In our when we send money for them, yeah, expensive. In our money, when send dollar there, yeah, there's more money for Afghanistan, and it's cheaper. You're gonna send a fifty dollar in Afghanistan, you're gonna get more zafran from there. But here we just ten dollar, twenty dollar is expensive for us. But there, no. If they bought for their own money, yeah, for them it's so expensive. No, for us it's cheap. Yeah, for them it's expensive, but mm -hmm. for us it's cheaper it's because the value of your yeah, of money. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's good. Like, okay. So next, let's have uh, Valentina. Question for you. Yes. Uh, in Egypt, they have so many pyramids. Which pyramid is the biggest and the most famous? Oh my God! I don't really know. I can't remember my name. <laughs> uh, Merita? Uh, Cleopatra? No, no, no. Pyramid, pyramid. Okay. okay. I think Hanny knows it. Hanny, you know? I believe. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, his name is Khufu. Khufu? Mm. I know the Arabic. Khufu, Khafra, Mankara. No, like I have before, like... Uh, mm -hmm. Andres, do you remember Ibrahim? He is from that city. Giza? Yeah. Giza. Giza. Yeah, the, pyramid of Giza. No, 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 no. Giza, it's uh, like uh, Mississauga. It's, a, it's all, it's all, yeah, it's all the pyramids, it's, it's located in Giza area. But the three pyramids, one of them is named is Khufu, the mid, mid size is named Khafra, the smallest one is Mankara. Khufu, Khafra, Mankara. Yeah, that's like wow. according. Yeah, they did not. Like Giza, 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 it's uh, the area. It's like Mississauga. It's a, it's a yeah, city? Yeah, it's, a town. it's a town, I know. Yeah. Oh, but, okay. uh, but the name of the tallest pyramid, they call it the Pyramid of Giza in English. Yeah, the, like I, I don't. Yeah, yeah, that's what I know. Okay. The Pyramid. Oh, yeah, you're right. Three. The Pyramids of Giza. So the three of them. Uh, the, the name, the name, it's they name it uh, for on the name of a king, who built it. Okay, who is the build is the one who built the biggest one, and uh, his tomb is inside is Khufu. The mid one is Khafra. The smallest one is Mankara. Okay, so um, okay, Merita, your turn. Mm -hmm. um, which desert is the largest in the world? Which desert is the largest in the world? Yes. Um, Antarctica? 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 No, desert. Antarctica is uh, ice, right? Can I go? Okay, Maritza? 
Sahara. 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 It's in Egypt. Okay, it is in Egypt and it goes all the way to Sudan. And yeah, Sahara Desert. And I think the, the name Sarah comes from Sahara. Yes, and it's very hot there. Hey, how are you? Okay. Which river, Jean, Jean, which river is the longest in the world? Oh. Andres, don't talk. Um, which river is the longest in the world? Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. Neil, teacher. Uh, Merita? Neil. Okay, Nile. Nile, sorry. Okay. Jean is Nile River. It Nile. starts from north of Africa and it goes all the way there. Okay. Now we know. maybe pass your country, right? Thank you. <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Nile River. Um, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Last question. Last question. Uh, even if you go, okay. Danielle, are you sure? Uh, yeah. Know. I'm pretty sure the river more longer is Amazona. No, Amazon is the second. Amazon is the longest river in South America, but the, in the world it's Nile. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, who wants who wants a challenge question? Okay. Anybody can answer. Okay. Anybody can answer. If you know the answer, speak it. Okay. Me, teacher. Which, which. Two countries in Asia use the English alphabet. In Asia, there are only two countries that use the English alphabet. They use the ABC. Philippines. Uh, uh. Turkey. Uh, Ber Bernard, in Turkey, do you use uh, ABC? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, huh? Yeah, Turkey. Are you on mute, Borhan? Right? Uh, Ber Ber are you on mute? We are, we are using la Latin alphabet, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. And Turkey is Asia and a part, uh, partly Europe, right? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, you're, you're right. I only know two people, too, and then now I realize that... <laughs> Is actually using yeah English yeah it's on. <laughs> okay so Ronald you are correct you, you got one of them the one is the Philippines and the other okay. one is what um, happens in... you cannot find this on Google <laughs> Japan because, because, no. Pardon? Japan no Japan they use like some some, like something like, like this, like a symbol. Pineapple. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. India. <laughs> no, India. Mm. They use it right? like a hair. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay, I'll give you. It's Vietnam. Uh. Yes. Vietnam, the Philippines, and Turkey use the English alphabet in Asia. And all the countries, not easy to learn the language because, because they, you don't have ABC. You cannot read. They look mm -hmm. like hair. They look like, like some, you know, uh, caricatures, you know. Yeah. Like okay. <laughs> anyway, everybody, the reason why I asked you some trivia questions three these are called trivia questions it's for you to prepare you for the next lesson that we will cover this week and and uh, this lesson uh, i'm gonna be teaching you like tonight actually um expressions that you can use when you do not know the answer okay a lot of people they're quick to say i don't know oh no i don't know 
what no, my god why you ask me this question i don't know but there are so many beautiful ways to answer questions when you don't know the answer okay for example if i say Hilalai, if i say how old is daniela and you will say to me i have mm -hmm. no idea yeah. yeah instead of saying i don't know I have no okay. idea. Hilalai, how old is daniela i have no idea maritza maritza say i have no clue yes. maritza, i have no clue okay not yet maritza no not merita it's maritza maritza um does valentina have a boyfriend i have no clue okay <laughs> i have no clue okay so ronald ronald say um i have absolutely no idea ronald when did when did um uh, nina come to canada um i have absolutely no idea okay so the point here is when people ask you a question and you don't know the answer don't be too quick to say i don't know there are so mm. many ways to uh to express your your your, your sentence by using I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I have no clue. I am not sure. I am not so sure. I have forgotten. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Okay. Things like that. And in the future, I'm going to teach you other things. Like, for example, mm -hmm. when people ask you a question and you don't know the answer, you know, instead of saying, I have no idea, you can say, for example, okay. Um, how 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 old is canada okay you, okay instead of saying i have no clue you can say uh you know what let me check on that you know instead mm -hmm. yeah like make a suggestion what you will do in order to find out the answer instead of saying i don't know because for canadian people sometimes when people are close to you and if, and you say i don't know for them, I don't know means I don't care. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, you say, okay, how old is Andrew? You say, oh, I don't know. It's like, I don't care. Why are you asking me this question? This is not important to me. Which is, I'm caring. You, you know, you, you don't, insensitive, you know? So, uh, okay, for example, I say, how old is Mississauga? They say, um, honestly, I have no idea, but let me check on that. You know, even when you are talking to the boss, you go to work and the boss asks you, um, the boss asks you, uh, Diana, um, Diana, uh, did you, do you remember, do you remember uh, when are we supposed, we are supposed to send the packages to to canadian tire and then diana you don't know the answer okay now remember the boss is asking you so you okay it's better to say uh yeah mr brown um uh, i am not very sure but let me check on that i'll get back to you um i'll get back to you in 10 minutes so the boss he feels good and then Diana, you go to your computer, you check the email, and then you go back to the boss and say, oh, we need to send the packages to Canadian Tire by three o'clock tomorrow. And they are ready, Mr. Brown, so don't worry about it. You see, instead of saying, oh, I don't know, the boss will have a headache and find another person to help. And the, the boss will say, my God, this lady is doing nothing in the company, but if to help, you even get promotion in the future okay so now let me just mr andrew this kind of question in a week one some some in the week one day like before we start our class just ask we're gonna know from each other some word we don't know like it's good idea we're gonna learn and we're gonna search okay, it yeah. but we're gonna it's yeah it's a very good idea yeah a very good idea in my life maybe what i'm gonna do is every day every day i'm just gonna give you maybe two questions Mm -hmm. 
just some extra information. Yeah. That you can, that, yeah, thank you for the We can learn from, from each other. I know, like Marisa know from me. If Marisa know, I can, I can, uh, like, oh, this is come from here or there. Be, beside of our study, we're going to learn well, this. I know this here that Merita, Merita, and uh, and and Hanny, they are so good at this, mm -hmm. and also um, and so and also Maritza, and Andres. I am not very sure. Okay, and so because I saw him some like googling, right? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because if you are a reader, if you are a reader, and you like you know mm -hmm. like events or reading a book, you know. <coughs> When you're on the plane, you would rather read a book than to just check check your email, right? Or, or Facebook. Then you become more knowledgeable of the world. You know, knowing the world around you, um, it's like, you know, it's, it will help you win friends. Like for example, in my case right now, when I return to the US um, and I speak with my friends, and I talk to them about about Syria, you know, about Taj Mahal, you know. I talk about I talk to them about um, Istanbul, you know what I mean, or um, or Medellin, Colombia. Like my, my 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 family, they just look at me like this, and they think they think that I'm so good, you know. But actually, I just learned it from the students. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, let me show you some examples of this one is to introduce to you our new grammar lesson, which I will probably show tomorrow. I'm gonna I can show you a little bit today. And um okay, just uh let me share it. Everybody, you can see this, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with um, Jim. Can you please read number one to number nine, and then Nina number ten to number fourteen. Okay, Jim, go. Okay. Um, I have no idea. Should I start with number one or? the left number one to number nine okay um one i have no idea i have absolutely no idea i have no clue i really don't know i have no clue at all i have no idea what's ever what's ever what's so what whatsoever what's 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 i don't know what you're talking about i'm not sure I'm not so sure. Okay. Mina, number 10 to 14. I have 14. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Do you honestly expect me to know that? You are kidding, right? You know, I don't know the answer. What? I mean, what kind of question is that? I don't know. But let me take a guess. Okay. Okay, okay. No, Mina, Mina, your music is not correct. You see, I don't know, but let me take a guess. I don't know, but let me take a guess. Like, for example, Mina, uh, Mina, do you know how old I am? You say, well, I don't know, but let me take a guess. I think you're 35. And then I say, higher. 37, higher. 40, lower. Oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I am afraid that Andres will say you wish. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna start with uh, Kilalai. I like you to. I'm gonna ask you a question, Kilalai. I like you to sure. choose a question. I mean, an answer, a, a mm -hmm. sentence from number one to number fourteen. Okay. Okay, Kilalai, how old is Andres? <laughs> sorry, Mr. Ando. Can you repeat it again? Sorry. How old is Andres? Hilalai, uh, you, you use any of the sentences. Any of, yeah, okay. Yes. How, Hilalai, how old is Andres? I'm not so 
Oh, oh, I really don't know. Okay, so you know, like your answer, I really don't know. Now, remember, all of these are correct. Yes, so like I won't just pick the yeah, just all nice and nice one. The best for you. Daniela, yeah, yeah. Daniela, um, what was the first, okay, uh, Daniela, before Sri Lanka became Sri Lanka, what was the oh, what was the name of Sri Lanka? Oh. <laughs> I I know so sure. Mm. Yes, the answer, Daniela, is Ceylon. Ceylon. Ceylon is the old name of Sri Lanka. Okay, okay Andres. Okay. Andres. What is okay? How far? Okay, what is the highway in South America that starts in Peru and it crosses to Brazil? Oh, come on, are you serious? Do you honestly expect me? You know, know that? <laughs> okay, that, yeah, that highway is called the Highway of Hope, it was built from Peru and it crosses to the Amazon, across the Amazon, and it mm -hmm. ends in uh, sa, in, in uh, Brazil, like like uh, from Pacific to Atlantic. <clears throat> okay, next, uh, Ronald. Ronald, how many children does, how many children does Burhan have? Mm -hmm. Mm, I have no clue. <laughs> Maritza, Maritza, before Andrew got married, how many girlfriends did he have? You are kidding, I have right? Absolutely no oh, idea. Maritza or Marita, sorry. Marita or Maritza? No, Maritza, Maritza. Okay. okay. You are kidding, right? You know, I don't know the answer. And then, and then Maritza, you say, but maybe, okay, go. But maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you scared to guess? <laughs> I don't want to tell you because we are recorded. <laughs> okay. Jethro, 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 when do you think you will get married? I have no idea. <laughs> maybe next year? <laughs> okay. Mina, Mina. Uh, before, uh, okay, Mina, before, okay, Mina, um, there is a canal that separates South America and Panama. <laughs> What is that canal? I have no clue. It's Panama Canal. <laughs> Mina! <laughs> it's Panama Canal. It was built by US. Mm, to separate, so to, to make it easy for the boat to crawl uh, the Atlantic to the Pacific. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to, okay, let me just uh, proceed to the next slide. Okay, now, this is what we are going to do, okay? So, before you say you don't know, say something, say an expression before that. Like, for example, you say, for example, I say, um, Valentina, how many, Valentina, how many, um, okay, Valentina, how many kingdoms are there in the United Kingdom? Okay, before you say you have no idea, say, honestly speaking, I have no idea. Quite honestly, I have absolutely no idea. To be honest with you, I have absolutely no idea. To be very honest, I have absolutely no idea. Or you can go back to the slide you can, you can go back to the slide by saying, 
honestly speaking, I have no idea. Quite honestly, I have absolutely no idea. To be honest with you, I am not sure. Okay? So if you combine both of them, your English is more fashionable, more stylish. Okay? So instead of saying, I don't know, you can say, honestly speaking, I have no idea. Honestly speaking, I have no idea. Okay? So uh, let's read. Valentina, please read number one to number nine. Okay. Is this in? Okay. Uh, Valentina, please read number one to number five. Honestly speaking, quite honestly, to be honest with you, to be very honest, to be honest about it, yes. to be quite honest, to be perfectly honest, to tell you the truth, quite frankly, I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna lie, but no, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna lie, but okay. Now, uh, Valentina, can you please combine number ten with with this one? With with I have with this. Okay. Can you okay. Say, so I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna lie, but I have absolutely no idea. Okay, so you see, everybody, did you see the difference? When you combine this and this, your English is more fluent. Your English is more fashionable. Okay, so uh, one of the teachers, yeah, one of the teachers explained to me, ex uh, one of the teachers explained to me that when you put, honestly speaking, or quite honestly, at the beginning of your answer, your answer becomes more gentle, more uh, more sensitive. Your answer becomes softer and, and more caring, right? It's very, very important that when you are speaking, you have to have some passion in your speaking. Because if you are so quick to say, I don't know, people will look at you as you are, um, you are you're uncaring, right? Uh, Merida, you have a question? No. <clears throat> I wonder if this trick is possible. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, just okay. So, uh, Merida, you're gonna read, but please read, um, like, like combine them. Like honestly, speaking, I have absolutely no idea. Okay. Okay. Combine all this them. or all of them. Okay. okay. Honestly speaking, quite honestly, to be honest with you, to be very honest, to be honest about it, to be quite honest, to be perfectly honest, to tell you the truth, quite frankly, I'm not going to lie, but I have absolutely no idea. Yes, beautiful. Okay. So everybody, remember, all of these are introductory expressions that you can use before you say you don't know. Okay, like, oh, what's the name of that lady? Oh, honestly speaking, I have no idea. Uh, look, look at that guy from Colombia. Uh, is he married or single? Well, to be honest about it, I have no clue. You know what I mean? Okay, so, okay, let me go to the next one. Okay, so now we can, we can combine. Okay, we will combine and we will uh, start with uh, Hani. Please read one, two, three, and combine with one, two, three, okay? And then, okay, just a second. And then, um, Diana, uh, four, five, six, and combine with four, five, six. Okay. And then, Jane, uh, Jane, seven, eight, nine, ten, combine with seven, eight, nine, ten, okay? Okay, start. Uh, honestly speaking, I have no idea. Quite honestly, I have absolutely no idea. To be honest with you, I have no clue. Okay. Now, uh, who, who's next? Me, I think. Okay, Diana, uh, what I'm going to do, everybody, is I'm going to put it in context. I'm going to ask Diana, 
simple but natural questions. And I like Diana to combine uh, four, five, six. Okay, uh, Diana, do you know do you know what time the meeting is today? To be to be very honest, I really don't know. Uh, Diana, what time we what when was the last time we got a pay raise? To be honest about it, I have no clue at all. Uh, Diana, do you remember what? Do you remember when is the birthday of the boss? To be quite honest, I have no no idea what what's, whatsoever. 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 Yes. You see, everybody, <laughs> do you see this? Like, I I created a situation. I like I put the lesson in context, and so when I spoke with Diana, I I spoke to her like we are coworkers. We are colleagues, right? And so I asked about what time is the meeting, uh, when is the, the boss birthday, and when it, when was the last time we um, had a pay raise? Okay, uh, who's next? It's me, Jean. Okay, Jean. Uh, Jean, what time is the bus coming today? To be perfectly honest, I don't know what you're talking. No, no, no. To be perfectly honest, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. You felt it. You felt it. They did not go, right? Yeah, I was like, no. <laughs> it's like you are going, going to fight with me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm glad that you felt it because it's very, very important, right? Mm -hmm. It's very important that you, you know it, right? Okay. So, um, Jean, the next one. Uh, Jean. Um, Okay. Do you know if there is a job opening in uh, Mina's company? Um, to tell you the truth, I don't know what you're talking about. No, Mina, Mina. <laughs> it's not easy. Because those are complicated sentences. Um, me, uh, uh, Jean, um, do you remember uh, one time Maritza brought uh, like pa paella, paella to our class. And do you know how to make it? Um, quite frankly, I'm not so sure. <laughs> uh, um, Jean, 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 do you love Andres? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but no. <laughs> Mama mia, I, 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 cannot, I cannot believe that you laugh like uh, like big time. Okay, okay, good. You know, I'm glad I can make you laugh. Right? Okay, so um, I'm gonna close the slide. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'll probably post this on Facebook so you can download. And then I'm gonna uh, go to the next. Um, to the next le lesson, uh, what is this? Embedded questions in context. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here, um, everybody, can you see this? Okay, so now, oh, oh, I didn't hear it. Not yet. No, no, no. Um, okay. okay, so here, uh, this one I created, right? I typed this, actually, you can see, like, I can still edit, right? I, I created this, um, and, okay, look at this. Embedded questions, w, WH questions. Okay, where, okay, everybody look, where is the bank located? So we have here, I have absolutely no idea where the bank is located. Okay, now the embedded question is not easy because you need to switch the position. And a lot of people, no, not a lot of people, some people 
even people born in Canada, they have a problem switching. I heard it many, many times uh, from people who are born in Canada. They say, oh, I have absolutely no idea where is the bank located. That is not correct. It should be, I have absolutely no idea where the bank is located. Okay, so uh, let me see, you're level six, seven. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I will test you. I'm gonna start with um, um, Alejandra is here. Uh, Daniela, Diana, okay, Andres, Annie, Hilalai. I'm gonna start with Hilalai. Okay, Hilalai, I'm gonna ask you a question, please. Please complete, okay? Please complete the sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kilalai, why was Andres away yesterday? I'm not pretty sure why Andres was away yesterday. Beautiful, Hilalai. <laughs> you make me proud, Hilalai. Thank you. you know? Okay, so everybody, you know, I got it perfectly. Okay, I am not pretty sure why Andres was away yesterday. Okay, this is my picture with Andres when he came to my place to pick up the book. So we took a picture together. Andres and I, we look like brothers, like my, we have the same smile and the same face. Okay, anyway, don't be jealous. <laughs> okay. Why was Andres away yesterday? I'm not pretty sure why Andres was away yesterday. Okay, next, Jean. Jean, back to you. I'm following the list, okay? okay. Jean, when did Farida, when did Farida buy this car? Um, should I ask a question? Yeah, yes, you said, do you know when? Oh. Do you know when did Farida buy this car? No, no, Jean. Uh, let's have Jethro. Jethro, please fix Jean. When did Farida buy this car? Uh, do you know when... When Farida uh, bought. bought this car? Yes. Jean, yeah. in the, okay, when the sentence is, okay, uh, embedded question. When the sentence is embedded, um, did, do, and does disappear? So you will say, do you know when Farida bought this car. Yeah, Why bought? Because of did buy. Mm -hmm. Did buy becomes bought. Do you know when Farida bought this car? And you need to learn how to phrase your sentence this way. Because if you don't, your sentence is going to be poor sentence. Mm -hmm. Do you know when Farida bought this car? And they say, I have no idea when she bought this car. Okay. Okay, next. Um... Uh, Marit Maritza, Maritza, uh, you are next. Yes. How much did Betty pay for her car? How much did Betty pay for her car? Please tell me how much Betty paid for their car. Very good. Okay. So the sentence, everybody, is please tell me how much Betty paid for her car. No did. Pay becomes past. Paid. Everybody, are you following? Yes. Okay. Next, Mina. Uh, Mina. Yes. How far can you go? How far can you go? Mina says, please, please tell me. Please tell me. Please let me know how, yeah, okay. how far you can go. Very 
good meter. <laughs> okay, please let me know how far you can go. Can you go? Because you can go. Okay. Next, let's have Merida. 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 Me, me teacher? No, no, uh, no, Merida first. Okay. Because, because I'm, yeah, Merida. Yeah, yeah, you. Merida. The other one is Maritza, right? It's not the same. I'm confused. Merita. <laughs> okay, Merida, you're next because I'm following the list. Okay, uh, on the, on my side. Okay, Merita, um, you are next. Who is she looking for? I have no idea who is she looking for. Yes. Okay, everybody, I hope you're following. I have no idea who she is looking for. Okay. Next, next, let's have Ronald. Ronald, you are next. Saja yeah. after Ronald, okay? Okay. Uh, Ronald, you are next. Uh, how often does your mom shop? Mm, I really don't know how, how often your... No, no, uh, my, my, my mom. My mom shop. No, yeah, wait. Yeah, yes. Uh, shop shops. Yes, I re yes. I really don't know. Uh, mom, when where? I confused. I really don't know how often my mom shops. Yes. No does. Okay. Oh, okay. And yeah, yeah. No, you got it. Okay. Right. Um, everybody, no does. And and because you drop oh. the dust, mm -hmm. shop becomes shops. Shops. Okay. okay? So okay, I it. really don't know how often my mom shops. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. Sarja. Yes. And Shala, you are next after Sarja. Okay. Sarja. What what can she get for a hundred dollars? What can she get? For a hundred dollars, I'm not very sure. What uh, can she get for a hundred dollars? Uh, Sadia, Sadia, look at my yeah. hand. What she can get for a hundred dollars? Yes, Sadia, you got it. Okay, one more time, Sadia, 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 Sadia. What can she get for a hundred dollars? I have. I. I'm not sure. I'm not very sure what she can get for a hundred dollars. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Next. Next. Um, Shala. Stanley, you're next. Okay, Shala. Okay. I have no... no, no wait, wait. Okay. Shala, why is Johanna upset? I have no cl clue why John uh, Johanna is upset. Beautiful. My God, you know, I love this class. You're all, you're very, very good students. Then I don't have to spend a lot of time with this lesson. Right? We can jump to the higher grammar lessons after the March break. Okay, next. Uh, Stanley, you are next. And after Stanley is the gender. Uh, Stanley, yeah. which one do you prefer? I am not, I am not so, so sure anymore. Uh, which uh, which do you favor? No, no. Okay, uh, again, Stanley. Which one do you prefer? When you see you, you will change to my. Oh, no, okay. No. I, I, to I. Okay. Which one do you prefer, Stanley? I am not so sure anymore. Uh, which one do you prefer? Who I prefer? Do I prefer? No. No, no do, no do. Uh, you? No do. Oh, okay. I told you, when you say do or does or did, you have to drop them. Oh, I got it. Again? Which one do you prefer? I am not so, so, so sure anymore which one you prefer. I prefer. Can I? I, do? I, I prefer. I prefer. Yeah. No, because because uh, Stanley, 
when somebody says to you, what is your name? You cannot say your name is Stanley. No, you have to say my name. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. I prefer it. Okay, yes. Okay, one more time. Stanley, which one do you prefer? I'm not so sure anymore which which one do I prefer. No, no, do. Oh, which one I prefer, okay, right? One more time, you're, you're struggling. Uh, Stanley, which one do you prefer? I'm not so sure anymore which one uh, do I prefer. No, no, do. <laughs> oh, I, I prefer, right? Eh? No, 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 Stanley, you've got to be careful. <laughs> No do, no do. Uh, Stanley, which one do you prefer? I'm not so sure anymore which one I prefer. Yes. Okay, maybe Stanley, you have to wear the yellow dress. <laughs> <laughs> forget it, forget it. Okay, now we're gonna jump to the to the other one. Okay, let's see this. Okay. The gender. Is I, Andrew an English teacher? I have no, I, I have absolutely no idea. Andrew is an English teacher. Nope. Something is missing. Who wants to, to answer this? Uh, because the, okay, everybody's, okay, stop for uh, uh, Andrew is going to answer. Okay, wait, everybody. Because the question is yes, no, you need to insert one word. The gender. Okay, Andres. Is Andrew an English teacher? I have absolutely no idea if Andrew is an English teacher. Very good. So, so the gender, because the question is yes, no, so you have to put if. The gender, you got it? Yes, teacher. Okay, one more time. The gender. Is Andrew an English? Thank you, Andres. Good job. I mean, I have. The gender is Andres. <laughs> is Andrew an English teacher, the gender? I have absolutely no idea if uh, Andrew is an English teacher. Okay, next. I'm going to go back up to Alejandra. Alejandra, can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Alejandra, are those students from Brazil? I am not pretty sure. Those are students from Brazil. Oh, no, 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 Alejandra, you did not hear. I told you, you, you need to put... Okay, in. okay, yes, 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 yes. I you're know. not okay. listening to... to okay. See you, Andres. <laughs> okay. Are those students from Brazil, Alejandro? I, I am not pretty sure if those are <laughs> students from Brazil. No, no. Uh, no don't, don't switch. Yes, if those, those yes. students are mm -hmm. from Brazil. Okay, okay. Yeah, good, you got it. Okay, one more time. Okay. One more time. Alejandra, I'm going to make it natural, everybody. Alejandra, okay. are those students from Brazil? I am no, I am not pretty sure. Those students are from Brazil. If, those, <laughs> if those students are from Brazil, and then and then and then he I say think they are. I think they are, and, and then you see, I heard them speak Portuguese. I think they are. I heard them. Yeah. Portuguese. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next, Burhan. Burhan. Yes. Yes. Burhan the team. Yes. <laughs> Burhan. Yes, Andre. Uh, Burhan, Burhan. Was Johnny absent yesterday? Do you know Johnny was absent? <laughs> do you know? Do you know if Johnny was absent yesterday? Okay, so Andres, did you see what's happening to the students? Yeah. We give them a model and then they don't get it. Like Alejandra and, and Burnham, I think you are cousins. <laughs> okay, one more time, Burnham. Was you, John absent yesterday? Do you know if John was absent yesterday? Beautiful. I love like, you. Daniela, 
Daniela, Miss Daniela Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daniela. Daniela, does Helen speak French? Please tell me, Helen speak French? No way, way, way. Oh, oh, oh. I need to give the answer, no? No, um, no but, but uh, Daniela, you need if. Okay, can you read the sense again? Okay, does Helen speak French? Please tell me, Helen speak French? No, 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 no. Please tell me no. if. Okay, please tell me if Helen speak French. Okay, did you say speak or speak? Speak. No, no, with S. Speak. Yeah, yeah. You know why, Daniela? Because of does. Does? Yeah, when you say does, do not say does, you put S in the in the in the verb. Okay. So, so you say, please, okay, repeat one more time. Um, Daniela, does Helen speak French? Please tell me if Helen speaks French. Okay, speaks. Okay. Speaks. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that you got it, right? Okay, next, Diana. Diana. Okay, Diana, uh, did Lena see the movie John Wick? I, I love this movie. Everybody, this movie, they're gonna show in April at Square One uh, Cinema, but it's gonna be part, I think part, part three or part four. Part four. We should see it. We should see it. Somebody. Okay. Please let me know if Lina see the movie John Wick. No? Okay. Uh, Diana, you said did. It means the oh. verb will become past. So you will okay. say saw. So. Okay, one more time. Uh, did Lina Please. see the movie John Wick? Please let me know if Lina saw the movie on John Wick. You got it. Everybody, are you following? When it is did, the verb becomes past. When it is does, the verb, you add S to the verb. When, the, when it is do, do, the verb does not change. You just drop the do. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, Andres, you're next. Has okay. Jennifer left the office? I have no idea if Jennifer left the office. No, 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 no. You missed something. Has what Jennifer is... left the office? Oh, wait, wait, wait up. I have no idea if Jennifer has left the office. Very good, Andres. Andres, you know, I'm so happy for you. Why? Because I push you to come to the level six, seven class, right? And and you are doing very well in this class. Thank you. That's why I'm so happy for you. My decision was correct to bring you here. You know what I mean? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will explain to you why I brought you here. Okay, <laughs> okay next. Uh, next, let's have, uh, Hanny, you're next. Have your tenants paid the rent? I really, I really don't know if my tenant, uh, uh, has paid the, the rent. No, no, it's plural, have. Have, have paid the rent, yeah. Yes, okay, one more time, make it smooth. Yes, have I really... Your have your tenants paid their rent? I I really don't know if my tenant have paid the rent. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Next. Um, has paid the rent. No. Have. Next, we have Hilalai. My tenant has. No, it's have. Who said has? It's have because tenant is plural. Tenants. Someone is talking. <laughs> Everybody, do you understand this? Tenants here, tenants is plural, tenants. So have is correct. 
if tenant is if tenant is only one, then you can say has. Right? Okay. So anyway. <clears throat> okay. Um, next, uh, Hilala. Yes. Hilala, can your children play Scrabble? I'm not very sure if if they if no, my no. children play no, no, Scrabble. No. You forget can. I'm not very sure if if they can. Now I'm probably here. I'm not. I'm not very sure if my children play. Come on. No, no. You forget the can. Uh, Hilala, everybody in this in in this lesson, uh, like embedded questions. Only do, does, and did you have to remove, but all the other words in a sentence you have to keep them. Teacher, can I help to Hila? Right? I'm gonna yeah. try it last. Yeah, okay. thank you. Hila, uh, I know you want you love to help Hila like that, but Hila like <laughs> yeah. okay, Hila like <laughs> play Scrabble. I'm not very sure if can my children play Scrabble. Okay, Hila like Andres is gonna help you now. Andres, please do it sure. slowly. Do it slowly, okay? Okay. Can your children play Scrabble, you know what I am not, I'm not very sure if my children can, can play Scrabble. Yes. Oh, can I say again? Can I? No, you said it, wait. Okay. Um, Andres, can your children play Scrabble? Oh, I'm not very sure if my children can play Scrabble. Yes. You see, Ilana, very simple. I'm not very sure if my children can play Scrabble. But I didn't say same if my children play. No, no, no but the last time. No, um, no. Yes, you can in normal English. You can, yeah. but the meaning yeah. the meaning changes. But because we are doing grammar, so we have to follow everything there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you say. I'm not yeah. very sure if my children play Scrabble. Yes. That, that the sentence is correct, but the meaning is different. Okay, I was thinking like that. I went done that another way to answer like that. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Just you know, like just be thankful to Andres for helping me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, next, Jean, you're next. Jean. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Jean. Jean, will Diana call you tomorrow? Huh? Will um, Diana call you tomorrow? Wait, wait. Um, I have no clue if Diana will call me tomorrow. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, now here, uh, let's have uh, Jethro. Yeah. Okay, Jethro, should we inform Amanda? I'm not so sure anymore if we should uh, inform to Amanda. No, two, two, there's no two. Oh, no, sorry. Okay, well, Jethro, yeah. Jethro, your, your, your uh, Barranquilla, Accent is coming. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay, so Jethro, should we inform Amanda? I'm not so sure anymore if we should inform Amanda. I think so too, because she seems, she doesn't seem to care. <laughs> she's more interested in, uh, she's more interested in Ronald. <laughs> okay, so now here, Okay, here we have, um, this is just a little bit of reading. Okay, that's, this is the last one. Okay, this is just a little bit of reading. So let's have uh, Maritza and Nina, number, number one. Now, okay, number one and two, Maritza and Nina. And then number three, four, we have Merida and Ronald. And Saja and Shahla. Number one, two, three. Okay. Okay, go, go. Okay. 
Um, where is Leila? I have no idea where she is. When are you leaving? I'm not sure when we are leaving. Okay, very good. Okay, next. Who, who asks the question? Me? No, just, uh, Ronald, just go ahead and ask. Okay. Why was Andres upset during the meeting? Merita. I think it's Merita, right? Uh, uh, mm. And one more time, please, because I was. Oh. Okay, okay, Ronald, one more time. Okay. Why was Andres upset during the meeting? I really don't know why Andres was upset during the meeting. How much were the apples? I forgotten how much the apples were. Very good. Okay. Okay, the last one. Uh, okay, I think the last one is Saja and Shala, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, Saja and Shala. Okay, go. Uh, which one? Saja, Saja, you start. Okay. When do you normally go grocery shopping? I am not sure when I normally go grocery shopping. Beautiful. Who does she visit in Montreal every summer? I have no clue who she visits in Montreal every summer. How long did it take Julia to get to Ottawa last weekend? I really don't know how long it took Julia to take uh, to get to Ottawa last weekend. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now, uh, uh, okay, we are we are done, but I, I'm just gonna ask you a question. Okay. Um, now here, everybody, look at the do, does, and did. Okay. Question is, when do you normally go grocery shopping? Okay. Um, Maritza, can you please read to me the question? Everybody listen to my answer, okay? Maritza, go. Yes. When do you normally go grocery shopping? I'm not sure. Now, is this answer complete? If I say I'm not sure? Yes. No, I think so, yes. The answer is yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody, short answers are normally correct but sometimes you, the reason why i'm giving you the complete answer is because i'm teaching you grammar because i want you to be able to like put things together like this and then put them pop, 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 like correctly right so when do you normally go grocery shopping i'm not sure when i normally go grocery shopping when does she visit when does she visit in Montreal? Uh, who does she visit in Montreal every summer? I have no clue who she visits in Montreal every summer. How long did it take Julio to get to Ottawa last weekend? I really don't know how long it took Julio to get to Ottawa last weekend. Okay? You got it, everybody? Now, when people ask you, do you know what time the meeting is going to be today? And somebody says to me, I have no clue. Finished. Correct. But some people, they prefer longer answer because when you give longer answer, it's more of like polite. You know what I mean? What time is the meeting this afternoon? Well, I have no idea what time the meeting is going to be this afternoon. Is it? It's more. It's more like you want to spend time with people, to talk with people, to 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 show people that you have time for them. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna stop sharing, and I'm just gonna talk to uh, Daniela. Daniela, did you like the class today? I love it. Yeah. What is the best thing? Mm, I can. I can try to. The best thing is I learned new things. This is the best thing that okay. never hear before. But yes. also I work in my pronunciation, so it's great for me. Yeah, yeah. It's actually very it's actually the class is actually very good for you because 
I focus on making the students speak better English. Yeah. You know, not just even if I teach, did you notice everybody? Even if I teach you grammar, I always focus on speaking. Even if I teach you reading, I always focus on speaking because English is nothing if you cannot speak it. You know what I mean? Okay, so, um, okay, now, D Daniela, well, okay, so um, for you, what is the best part of the class? The teacher, the students, or the lessons? Don't be shy. Um, yes. the, really, the really two, the really true is the teacher. You're a great teacher and you have so patient with the student. Even you, you see when somebody has a problem, you try this person repeat again. So this is great. So for me, the best is the teacher. Oh, thank, thank, thank you, Daniel. I don't want to ask anymore because you make it, you touch me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Merita, Merita, are you happy? I know, but Merita was my student before, right? And yes, then, yes, teacher. Yeah. I'm very happy with you, with students, and with our class, with everybody. Yeah, Merita, when you, okay, the school sent you to my class. Did you ask the school? To send you yes, to my class? Uh, I, I spoke with school and I said I want to be with you. Oh, really? To the school. Thank, yes. Thank you, Merita. <laughs> okay, so because I was surprised they sent you to my class, right? And uh, I, I, no, I was actually pleasantly surprised. And I got confused, like which class you were with me in the past. And now, Girl, and I three, mo three months that. ago, I stopped teacher with you, and I talked with you. You said when you're ready, we can continue again. <laughs> yes, yeah. And and yeah, 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 you are lucky because they moved me back to this class, to this level six seven, so it fit you perfectly because you were a strong student in my class before, and I was even thinking, oh, why is Merita here? She's, she's very strong. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, teacher, so, you said to me a lot of time. Okay, but Merita, do you see now Andres and Burnham? They are very strong. Did you see them? Yes, yes, I saw them. They're yeah, like much better than, yeah, than before. Yes, I don't know what Maybe they love the teacher so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, no homework. I will talk, to, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, and uh, 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 Daniela, six o'clock tomorrow, and okay. Merita, you know. Daniela, I'm so happy to have you in my class today, okay? You, you are so full much. of energy, you are sweet, you are so humble, you are nice to everybody, and you are beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you, everybody. Andre, Mr. Andre, you say like we have a homework for like in the pandemic. What did you learn? Yeah, not to tomorrow, not tonight. Not tonight? Yeah, not tonight. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay. okay. Thank you, Andrew. Bye. You. Thank I, you. Need to, I need Bye. to Bye. Sorry. I need to prepare it. Okay. okay. Ian, you have a question? Okay. Bye. 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 Take care. Have a good night. Yes, Andrew. Sorry, I just want to ask you for the the, the AC that we did. Uh, say again, Jean. I was asking about the AC, the AC that we did, the writing AC. I don't know if you were corrected or... Uh, which one? I think the yeah. first was about me, the another one was... Oh, no, no, I have not checked yet. Okay, okay. Because I was wondering, I thought you already checked it and but, but I was yes. just wondering... Yes, I, I have not uh, checked yet because okay. you know, I was not feeling well, right? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I know, I understand. I'm but really I'm glad you feel better now. Actually, yes. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm better now, but I'm still yeah. comfortable myself <laughs> because yeah. I would I could cough anytime, right? <clears throat> so you should drink um ginger tea. I don't know if you know that, like the real ginger. Uh, yes. No, like because I used to be a singer, and so you know what I did was mm -hmm. in this situation, I would put fresh ginger in my throat in my in my yeah, the fresh mouth ginger. and just yeah. and like eat it like a candy. Mm -hmm. And it worked in the past, but yeah, this time I've not done it. Yeah, you should do it. It really works. Yeah. Yeah. Thank okay, you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. You're See welcome. you tomorrow. Bye. Uh, Daniel, I'm happy that you stayed because I need to connect you to our um, to our uh, Facebook page and YouTube channel. 
Okay, that's perfect. Also, I want you to check again what is the the river more low in the world. Because I was reading a book, like the new book, has like a all big thing in the world, like a, the, the big city the, with more people. And this year, he made like a, a new reform. So I I want you to check that. Yeah, okay, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, okay. sure. So, yeah, actually, actually, uh, like Daniela, there was like an argument between Nile River and Amazon River in the past. And I don't know if they came up with something else. Probably uh, because the Nile River, um, when it went down in Africa, the name changed. Oh, so okay. probably this is the reason. Oh, OK. Yeah. Because I'm like you, I like to know about everything a little, you know? Yeah, 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 me too. Like, I, I love trivias. I love knowing real things and sharing with people. And, you know, when you share with people, they, they just love talking with you. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? When they, yes. they see that you are smart, that you know about everything, that you can talk about everything, the people mm -hmm. love that. Yes. I don't know how to say English, but in Spanish, cultura, like a general culture, how you say in English? Um, well, maybe you can say ge ge um, general, general information. General, yeah. We say cultura general, it's about the world. Yes, general culture. Yeah, we say yes. like that in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm, I'm actually very good at this, you know, like if you ask me about the capital cities, names of countries old old names of countries i normally know all of these things you know uh what i don't what i am not so good are science words and medical words what is uh, that no words med medical words if you ask me about medicine i'm not so good if you uh, ask okay. me about science you know invention i'm not so good but geography i'm very good are you, you sorry know. geography but history too? Yeah, like history, you, yes. Because you speak about all the things, so like in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, history, I, I, it depends on history. Like if it is about the Roman Empire, I'm not so good about Rome, Italy, things like that, you know? And uh, yes, okay. So um, Daniela, I'm gonna, okay, let me just stop the recording. And then what I'm going to do, 